This is Rebecca with Digital Thinker. I wanted to take a few minutes to review how to run based reports in Hexagon EAM. Running reports typically involves a few key steps, so this is intended to be a general guide to help you get started. In Hexagon EAM, a report can be associated with a screen, such as the work order screen. In this environment, the work order comprehensive report is associated with the work order screen. So if you were to click on the print record or print preview icon from the toolbar, the work order comprehensive report would generate. But base reports are also accessible from the reports menu associated with each module. Let's look at a report together. From the work module, navigate to reports, print work orders, print work order comprehensive. When running a report, it is important to review and enter the report parameters. These parameters control which records are included. For example, if I wanted to print all the assigned PM work orders for the maintenance department, I would first need to enter in the department, next the work order type, so in this case, it would be preventive maintenance. Then the status, so that I only include those work orders that have been assigned or scheduled. On the right-hand side, we have report options. These options provide some flexibility as to what information is included in the report. For example, perhaps I need to include attachments as well as task plan checklists. You simply need to ensure those checkboxes are selected. Next, if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll want to designate the date range. If I want to generate the work order starting from the beginning of the month, then I can update the start date. If there are reports that you run frequently for the same set of parameters, you can save those as a parameter list. So you see here in this section, there is a save button. It will prompt you to enter in a name. You can always designate that this is the default parameter list, and then you can click submit. The benefit of this is if I were to return to the print work order comprehensive screen, say next week or next month, my parameters have been saved, so I can simply select from the parameter list, and all I would need to do is update the date range. So the next thing you can do, assuming that you have entered in the correct parameters and selected the report options, is either click print record or print preview. This will generate the report based on the parameters and options that were selected. As you can see here, I now have a list of PM work orders assigned to the maintenance department. Let's look at one other example. In this example, I want to demonstrate how you can change the report format. From the work menu, navigate to reports, then list of work orders. I'm going to go ahead and just leave the report parameters, options, and date range as is and click on print preview. You can see the list of work orders report generates by default as a PDF, but I want to call your attention to the format options in the top right corner of the screen. This would be a good example of wanting to view this information in Excel rather than a PDF. So I could simply click on View in Excel. This will download the file that I can then open, just giving me more flexibility in terms of how I would like to review the information provided. I hope this guide was useful as you explore reports in Hexagon EAM. Please subscribe to this channel and you'll be alerted when new content is released. Thank you.